Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Dungeons Dragons Online part 116. Today we're going to be doing the Black Lock, so this is the next quest in the series. You do have to go back to the uh, quest giver for the last quest and then go back to the guy and then he'll tell you to go here. So yeah, let's have a look and see what's happening. I actually really like this quest. Echoes of dripping water reverberate through the caves of the Black Lock. So much happens in this quest. <laughs> Oh gosh, that sounded very loud. Bear with me a second. Just gonna turn that down a little bit. Hopefully that wasn't too bad on the ears. <laughs> oh yeah, I probably should buff as well. As you can see, I'm very in touch with everything. Let's go. <laughs> my leg, not my leg. Ooh, that was not too bad. Like she didn't die, but it's all good. Right, I think I'm just going through like the optionals here. No, this is a really interesting quest. I really enjoy it. A uh, lot of spellcasters though, so make sure you have a decent amount of spell These resistance. And smell like Quick and decisive movements suggest that these are no ordinary undead. Hmm. That's true. Oh gosh, where's the lever? I say I enjoy this quest. I can't remember where the lever is. Oh dear. Okay, I think I I think I'm blind. Um, hold on. It must be there. Where the hell is the lever? Was it in that room I just killed people in? Oh, I'm supposed to speak to Tin. Oh my gosh. As you can tell, I'm very good at reading. You ready yourself for the upcoming battle against the necromancers and their undead pirate minions. But yeah, get ready for spellcasters, zombies, and skellies. That is very important. There we go. We're able to open it now. <laughs> oh dear. I'm a bugger, I swear. Alright, let's... Ah! Yeah, there's also some traps. Oh, some kobolds as well, of course. That scared me. I love that though. Do you know what I love about this game? It's like little effects like that. It just makes it feel more... I don't know. It makes it feel more interactive. I guess that's the the word, right? Alright. Yeah, see it? Lots and lots of... Uh, Gosh. Wait, why am I doing that on a zombie? Oh, it looks like it worked. It's fine. <laughs> this guy is going on town. Oh, gosh. That guy was going to town on me. So if you can see down here, there is a shrine, but I'm not going to go there yet. I think I'm gonna go this way. I think the door on the other side may be locked and I think you have to find a key if I remember correctly. I could just check but you know that that's too easy right? <laughs> right let's see. And then you get a nice little chest which I'm pretty sure has a key in it. Yeah. This vile green key may prove useful later on. Yeah, definitely. Absolutely agree. But yeah, it's a lot of acquiring keys and then opening doors to progress to the next uh, place. So a just bear that in mind. Keyhole, painted green, is visible in the door. Oh Perhaps shit. You can find a key that opens it. Let's get the crap out of me then. All right, let's see what's down here first. Um, like, I've done this quest before, but not enough that I know it, like, the back of my hand. So I do apologise if I'm a bit over the place, as usual. I'm playing a lot of games right now. Um, I'm still playing Hades recently. It's something I really suggest for people to try out. That is so much fun. And I'm not even to games like that. Usually I'm terrible at games like that, but I don't know, it's just... It's like countless hours of enjoyment, especially when you die so much. <laughs> ah, it's just great. 
Right, let's open this. The this red key. key. Is colored a rich red. You can't tell whether the color is paint or rust or something worse. Oh, there's nothing up here. I forgot there was nothing up here. Oh gosh, he's taking some damage. My skelly dude's all good though. To be honest, as long as my skelly dude survives, that's all out that all <laughs> that's all that matters. Oh gosh, I feel like that horrible um contractor that just makes you put your life on the line for work. Sorry, you must be so sick of me singing that to myself. It's okay. One day I will stop and find a different song to make you guys annoyed by. You notice a small red keyhole in the door. Oh wow, it's very good that we actually have a red key. Imagine that. I love acids. I don't know. I don't know if I was like if I ever had a choice to be like a wizard in real life. I'd probably like I'd either mess with fire or acid. I guess acid would be the best thing, right? Because like fire you can get some fire resistances, but acids you're kind of done so. I don't know, if you're a wizard, what power would you have? I guess you could have multiple powers being a wizard, but I don't know. Oh gods. A disembodied voice emanates from within the globe. Resign yourself to failure. It oh gosh. Our oh wow, okay. Well, at least they aren't tough zombies. Oh, these guys. It's okay. Yeah, they're not that actually. They're not actually that strong. Could just do hands of fire, save myself some mana. The fudge. Oh. <laughs> I love how they protect a skelly guy. Um, you know this. <laughs> you know there's a there's a zombie behind you, right? God, they're like little two kids. They're like, Ma, I don't want to deal with it. Can you deal with it? Hi, Dios. All right, what was the point of going in here? I don't know. Maybe I missed a turn. Probably did. All right, let's keep going oh yeah there was a point where i didn't oh no but i i i did that right okay um ah yeah you're supposed to go down on this platform i keep forgetting this is a thing right okay let's go over here ah he ran away he ran from my power. <laughs> yeah. Every time I love every time I play this game, I'm always like, damn, this is such a good game. Like I just love the fact that you can move with your spells. Like there's so many games where you cast spells and your character can't move. But you can like make the spell move and it's just it's so nice. I'm I'm sorry if that doesn't make much sense, but yeah, I, I just really like it. I don't know why I'm reminiscing on DDO today, especially considering I do still play it, but it just feels like that, you know. Um, I think, yeah, so down there's the treasure cove. You can't get that until the end of the quest. What's down this way? Is it another one? Another key, maybe? Or is that where the pirate ship is? So you don't really need to go to the pirate ship yet, if I recall. Yeah, this is the... Yeah, you need a key for this, right? A ship floats placidly in a vast underground cavern. No doubt the Darren Ketuk's quarters are aboard the vessel. Turning your attention to the door itself, you notice its lock is surrounded by a pleasing jeweled pattern. Yeah, so there is two more things up there. I'm thinking, just to be on the safe side, I'm just gonna shrine, because this will be the only time I shrine, so I'll just be back in a second. 
Alrighty, I'm all done, so I'm just running away from the shrine onto the next bit of the quest. As you can see, it is actually quite linear, so that's not something nice to note. Uh, let's go up here. Oh, bloody hell, I clicked on the spell. <laughs> I'm just gonna do this. Yeah, so as you can see, we have to go through here, which will give us a key to go up there, so let's do it. Fun quest. That was very easy. I like it when spells actually just work. The blue on this key is only cheap paint over a flimsy wooden key. Disgusting. You think being pirates, you'd, they'd invest in the quality. Wait, does someone attack me? No. Um, let's go over here. Are they all good? Yeah, they're fine. We can handle this. What the fudge? Alright, let's go over here. I'm sorry if I sound quite quiet today, by the way. Um, it is currently 6am in the morning. Sadly. The jewels encrusted into this key are all cheap fakes made of But yeah, 6 a.m. in the morning, so I have to be quiet to be considerate of my neighbors. But I, I just really felt in the mood to record. The thing is, um, as you know, I deal with mental health stuff, and when I have bursts of energy to actually do something, I'm kind of in the mindset at the moment where I just have to do it before I get way too tired again. So yeah. Anyway, we can't go through there yet, so we need to go this way. Um, so this will be towards the final boss, and they will also give you the key to go into the treasure room. So always try and remember that. I I forget. I think I forgot like the second time, second or third time I ever did this quest. It's so easy to. All right. And one thing I'm gonna do as well. Oh gosh. What am I doing? I'm just standing there. Alright, um... Doo -doo -doo. Hello, Mr. Zombie. How you doing, matey? Parley. Can we, can we get a parley? Like, honestly, why, why can't I just get a parley? You know, we can share the treasure, I won't rat you out, everything will be all great. Where are my highlands? Like, honest, like, seriously? Are you just trying to scare me? I am literally a living, um, lich. <laughs> Can you imagine trying to scare a lich? A lich? A lich? Leek? God, leek sounds funny. Alright, let's go kill the archie. Oh god, they're very tough. I think I said this before. I need to sort out my spell damage. That This is abysmal. Maybe it's because I'm using very low level spells to kill stuff though, rather than just using my normal spells. I guess I'm very paranoid about wasting mana even though this is the final boss fight now. Ah, there we go. Die! Oh, bird, you dodged. You're not supposed to do that. As you cut him down, no sign of concern about what awaits him. He simply stares blankly ahead as his body falls lifeless to the ground. But yeah, don't let this chest All right, fool this you. This heavy key is made of solid gold. Is this something it up here? It could fit only one door in the black lock. Yeah, it's a good thing it can only fit one door. I thought for some reason there was an extra chest. Maybe, uh, maybe I'm getting too greedy. The pirate's way is living off me. Plunder, matey. I'm so sorry. I don't know why I'm but forcing a fake pirate accent. I'm pretty sure like the British accent just sounds like a pirate accent. <laughs> All right, let's uh, let's go and enter the vault. Let's do it. I don't know how I forgot this one day. I guess I must have been 
I don't know. Sometimes, you know, sometimes you just um, chain quests for favor. Gold coins you kind of forget. At the end of this corridor. Down the hallway. More guards are approaching. The blood tides pundered the treasure before you. Oh, during its hello. On the black Perhaps you will find a better use for it than they did. I kind of didn't realize we were going to get attacked. Ah, oh, it's okay. He can deal with them. Right, um, let's, yeah, let's take all of our gold. Nice. It's actually not a lot when you look at it. 73 gold pieces. But you do get some gems. And gems add up. Like, honestly? It's not too bad. And if you get, like, some fragments, not so bad. Let's do this. Oh my gosh, I'm... Like, I'm my... Listen, I'm poor, okay? This is all I have. I have nothing. <laughs> oh, I've recently um, sold some materials though, so I, I've got more shot, more astral shards than I used to. But apart from that, I I am poor. All right, I'm also gonna show you quickly one more chest that I completely forgot about. Uh, it's underwater. I just checked the, the wiki page. Ah, oh, damn it. Sorry about that. So I'll just be a second. Alrighty, so remember this room where the shrine is? Apparently there is sometimes a chest underneath in the water. So let's have a look. And I think I just found it. There we go. But yeah, no, that was the black lock. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. And yeah, let me know what powers you would have if you were ever turned into a wizard for no apparent reason. This is Sofa Plays and I hope you have a lovely day. Bye.